Good late afternoon, World Wide Web. This is James, your favorite ticker picker. We're going to do a quick stock update on Alibaba Group Holding LTD. This is Alibaba.com. It is the Chinese eBay with everything on Buy It Now. It's the Chinese Amazon. Uh, it's in English. If you go there, uh, you can order products direct from China, shipped right to your house. Um, skipping the middleman, skipping Amazon, skipping eBay. It's a great place to get things at a much, much better price than you'll ever see anywhere, especially if you're buying a specialty part for uh, whether it be a vehicle or a computer chip type thing or uh, an, an engine part or any kind of the most goofiest things that they make over there. Most everything is made over there. But if you want to get it absolutely, completely direct, they have two-week delivery to the United States. They'll ship it right to your mailbox. Uh, the prices are, the ones that I've seen are anywhere from 50 to 80% off of Amazon. It's you know, a lot cheaper. I don't know how well it's going to catch on to the United States. I've been using it for a couple of years. Uh, it's very safe. People have feedback and ratings and everything over there. Um Alibaba is a uh, been a big deal over there for a long time. Their stock for the uh, last year has been roaring from uh, a low of 64 to a high of around 120. Today it sits at 84.92. Um, Amazon looks like it's up. Good for them. They had a good day. Uh, but just look at the metrics on this company. Keep in mind it's heavily uh, discounted because of the um, China, it being in China. Uh, they lost money in March. They made $22 billion in June. That's what kind of money they made. They lost $20 billion. And they made $46 billion in December of 2022 quarter. And then $23 billion. Uh, annually... It's just ridiculous. Seventy-two billion in winnings, sixty-two billion in winnings, hundred and fifty billion in winnings, hundred and forty-nine billion in winnings, and eighty-seven billion. You had nice growth. It looks like the growth slowed down. Probably I don't know why. Maybe shut down number two. Maybe something happened in China. They don't seem to be affected by COVID. That's when everybody was shopping online, I guess. Um just an amazing company's balance sheet that you'd rarely get to see here in the United States. One this clean. Uh, they don't grow more debt, but their assets grow and grow and grow. It's absolutely beautiful. $1.75 trillion in assets. Huh. That's just wow. Wish we had a company like this in the USA, but I would be buying it. Uh, but it wouldn't be no uh, $84. This wouldn't be $8,000 if it was in the USA. They should consider moving. Uh, $2.56 billion outstanding shares. Um, a lot of outstanding shares, but we're talking an absolute ass load of money also. Um, uh, let's see what their earnings per share was real quick. Um, $4.56. Yeah, if that was in America, this would be a $300 stock all day long. Maybe a $500 or $1,000 stock. It's just not, though. It's over there. But the reason uh, I wanted to bring this to your attention is I think that our administration is a lot friendlier with China than anyone gives them credit for. Uh, I don't know if the friendliness will go on forever, but I think the trade with China and direct trade with China is going to continue. Uh, this company will continue to be able to drop stuff in our mailbox. They have a network of Americans and American warehouses that just drop it in the mail here when Alibaba requests it, and it just ships the product to your house. I think in a lot of situations, sometimes stuff actually does come from over there. Uh, depends on what you order, I suppose. But uh, if we're going to have a recession, people are going to be needing to save money, and this is the ultimate money saver. You want to save money buying stuff, electronic stuff, household stuff, whatever it is. If you go to Alibaba, you'll be like, wow, 
you know, free, free shipping from China. Okay. And you basically cross your fingers at that point and hope it shows up at your house. Uh, it does though. And that's the weird thing about it is I almost didn't expect it to just cause it was, you know, being ordered from China. I had a 250 boat in, uh, a boat engine part electronic for, it was $250 here at, uh, boats.net or whatever it was. Um, found it on Alibaba for 25 bucks. So I ordered one and it showed up and then I ordered some more stuff and it showed up and then I ordered some more stuff and it showed up. Um, I should be using this constantly. If you can wait two or three weeks for something, uh, and it's worth chopping the price in half, then this is the way to go. But if we're going to have inflation or a bad recession or times where people need to save money, uh, this disparity of, uh, PE value that America is awarding this thing is nowhere close to its proper value. Probably it's probably got a lot of room to run and should probably be a lot more popular in the future with Americans, uh, because of the need to save money. But just a little introduction on Alibaba, check out their website. Uh, it is safe to order from, um, I've done it about six times. Leave it in the comments below if you've ordered from them. Uh, and if you didn't get your stuff, please tell us. If you got your stuff, please tell us. I'm interested to see. Uh, the, the feedbacks look just as good as eBay. 100%. Some of these people are pretty perfect. You just want to pick a decent seller. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you on the next one. Alibaba, which is ticker symbol BABA. Thank you very much. Have a good night.